Well, have you seen this one? They're now flying real helicopters from their iPads. <laughs> no, really, they, it's, it's actually real. They're using them for transporting and stuff. That's right. If you need to move some cargo and it's too dangerous or a routine for a human, you can just place an order for a robotic heli to come drop it from your smartphone. It's basically the military version of the Amazon drone idea. I get my groceries from Amazon Prime. Pantry. All right, so they've been working on this for a few years now. And they've actually got it to work pretty good. So their big goal here is they want any soldier to request the helicopter drop by just using an app. They don't want any special training or any skills. They made that very clear. I got an app for my apps. The two helicopter victims that they have converted into cyber zombies appear to be the Little Bird and that wacky K-Max that nobody really likes anyway. So they then installed some kind of a Johnny Five in the control system to move the flight controls. How you doing? Okay, this is great. It's really just great. It's very nice to see a multi-million dollar project actually work. Now, it's not that I'm some old guy who doesn't think that this newfangled technology shouldn't be used to change things that already work just fine. You use the phrase newfangled. You're an old guy. But what the problem down the road just might be is the people here. When you crunch the numbers, you're spending tens of millions of dollars on this project, but 10 years down the road, this will save them billions on having to pay for people and all those jobs. I used to sell checkout at Walmart. Yeah, there you go. How many billions did the big box stores save by taking the humans out of the loop? So the government is eliminating thousands of jobs to people that work on or fly helicopters because it may be a little bit too routine or dangerous. That's right, kids. Don't do a job that's too routine or dangerous. My tablet Johnny Five is here to do it for you. Did you, did you hear about that one AI robot that said it wanted to put all people in human zoos? No, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, it was pretty freaky. Didn't hear about it. Sounds fake. But it's not all bad. The military wants to develop this technology further in the future. Soldiers can not only call in cargo drops, but they can also call in heavy firepower. That's right. Don't go to pilot school to learn how to fly an A-10 that has been replaced by an F-35. You can just call in robotic air support from your smart coffee cup back at the base. What the? The smart flying autonomous computer virus controlled Apple App Store approved touch tablet obsolete human maker DARPA design sky it funded gun running cargo dropping aerial UAV are you kidding me system is it here to do the jobs that humans don't want to do or is it going to do what all robots eventually do and that is turn on their masters put us all in cargo boxes and ship us off to human zoo you decide I know, I know, that's what I did, the stupid thing. Sir, sir, you're, you're not even logged in. Uh, that, that's, that's why it's not working Well, Dag Nabbit, how do I log yeah, in? You, you gotta sign in using your Facebook account. You know, we went over this. What's your password? It's Army Boss 123 Army Boss 123 all one yes, word? Yes, all one word. Okay, here we go. Just hit the little green button. Your order is on the way. Well, okay then. How long will this take? Uh, they usually come in pretty fast. We should probably get out of the way of the landing zone. Yeah, a bonk.